Hi coaches, this is Whitney from Get the Pancake, a website for volleyball coaches, and now a podcast for volleyball coaches. Here I read articles to you from getthepancake.com, where I have a ton of volleyball drills, practice plans, and even some free downloads like stat sheets and attendance trackers. I like to play podcasts as I'm driving or getting ready, and I don't think I'm alone on this one. I'm reading you my favorite articles to make it easier for you to think volleyball rather than just skim yet another post. Today we're going to talk about five benefits of playing games at practice, which was originally posted on getthepancake.com. Thanks for being here. Be sure to subscribe at the end if you find this information helpful. And with that, let's jump into the article. The Power of Games by Whitney Bartuk from getthepancake.com. When you are training a group of players to be elite athletes, it can seem like spending time playing games at practice is a waste of time. What we sometimes forget as coaches is that fun is a major component of the learning process. Thinking back on my time as a player, I first remember running around laughing with my teammates and playing fun games. Yes, I remember playing hard, training, and running through drills, but the most vivid memories are from when I was playing dead fish, the down ball game, and more. What this tells me is that I was the most present while we were having fun and playing games together. There are more benefits than just having fun at practice. I've listed a number of benefits which come along with structuring a practice which includes small games that reinforce skills. Benefit of games number one. Laughter is in short supply these days. Today's players are, in my opinion, way too stressed out in their normal lives. My athletes have so much more on their plate than I did as a player and they need time to laugh and relax, the one thing which isn't scheduled for them. Throwing a game or two into practice at least once a week will let the kids be kids. Yes, I push my players hard and try to keep them just at the edge of challenged yet successful, but taking time to laugh a little with a game can help players blow off some steam and just enjoy being at practice and being with their teammates. I want my players to look forward to coming to practice and being silly every once in a while helps with that. Benefit of games number two. Playing for fun is more motivating than playing out of fear or obligation. When you're playing because it is fun or if you're trying to win a game, you will try harder. Studies show that being intrinsically motivated or from the inside works better than being pushed to achieve out of fear, like with punishments or for rewards, like being named the winner for the day. With this in mind, what pushes a player to go all out for the ball or swing with higher precision or serve more accurately than fun? Sure, you may get short-term results from punishments or rewards, but you'll develop overall better players if you give them the opportunity to play better because they want to, not because you're making them. Before I continue, I want to take a quick 30-second break to mention that while Get the Pancake offers free downloads, there are also a couple of more advanced printables for sale, like goal-setting worksheets, stat sheets for parents, and more. I've got a long list for future projects too, so make sure to check out the shop on getthepancake.com to see what's available. Okay, 30 second break over, back to the article. Benefit of games number three. Games can take the monotony out of a long season. Once you get to the middle of your season, it can feel challenging to think up new drills or create exciting practices. By playing games, you break up the pattern that you've established over the last month or two, or three, or four, and get your players excited about volleyball again. Of course, this works best when balanced by practices where players are growing and learning new skills regularly. An occasional treat is much sweeter than a regular diet of the stuff. Benefit of games number four. Many times, games teach us more than we can see at surface level. When you are learning a skill, you can become too focused on the learning process that you don't notice small subtleties since you're focused on your own performance and the feedback from the coach. When you're playing a game, you become more in tune with what's going on in your surroundings and you actually learn quicker. It's amazing what players are capable of doing once the focus is on fun, not coaching feedback. Sure, there may be some mistakes made and room for improvement, but just remember that you are the one in charge of the rules. You can mix things up if you see bad habits developing. Benefit of games number five. When your team is having fun together, they bond. Improving team spirit and friendship between teammates is only going to help your performance. Depending on the game you're playing, as a coach, you may also be able to jump in. Having fun with your team allows you to be seen in a different light than in the coaching role. I don't recommend this as a constant throughout your season, but every once in a while, it's okay to let your hair down a little and jump on the court with your players. Why did I want to write this article? I feel like there are too many coaches who think you need to be 100% serious 
all the time, and a lot of parents who see game playing as getting quote unquote less than they pay for. I guess it's a mini rant explaining why it's important to have fun at practice. If you're looking for an excuse to play games with your team because you feel too much pressure to be on all the time, I hope you found something helpful in this article to push you towards a quick 5-10 to 10 minute game at your next practice. Alright, thank you so much for listening. Again, if you thought this information was helpful, please be sure to subscribe to this podcast and share it with your coaching friends. Also, I love, love, love talking volleyball. So if you're on social media, specifically Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, or Pinterest, be sure to follow at Get the Pancake. I post pretty frequently and I'd love to interact with you there, whether it's by talking about drill ideas in the Facebook group or sharing a cool video from your last tournament on Instagram. That's really fun for me, so I'd love it if you joined in on the conversations we all have on those social media channels. Again, thanks for listening and I hope to have you back with the next episode.